This week on Marketplace. I need new glasses. Your eyewear costs more than your iPod. These are $5.29. We peel back the price tag and ask why. It's going to be $3.99 plus the frame. Our test pits Canada's biggest eyeglass store chain against Canada's biggest eyeglass store online. They're actually a little bit crooked. And what is your eye doctor not showing you? It's a little fuzzy. Why did challenging the status quo land this guy in jail? You calling it protectionism? Oh, absolutely. Our sights are set on getting you the goods. Are you protecting public interest or your own economic interest? got our eye out for some new eyewear. Doing a little secret shopping in Toronto. I need new glasses and I kind of like these frames. Shopping not just for glasses, but for answers to a question you've probably asked yourself. Why do these little pieces of plastic and screws cost so much? I like these ones. We're using our hidden cameras for a different kind of eye test. A price check at optical stores both big and small. Help me look for them. That's Megan, a Marketplace staffer. Like more than half of us, her eyesight ain't what it used to be. We've asked her to buy new glasses for the first time in years. And things come into focus pretty quickly. 280. Wow. And that's just for frames, not including lenses. 420. These are 529. It's easy to find price tags in the $400 to $500 range, though you're paying for the designer name at that point. Still, even average frames can cost a few hundred. And listen to when the talk does turn to lenses. $389. $389 is the price of your lens. So whatever frame you choose, it's going to be $389 plus the frames. $389 plus the frames at iStar. Over at the Bay's optical department. What's the regular? Yeah. $721? Yep, just the lenses cost $729. Throw in some middle-of-the-road frames and anti-glare coating, and you're up to more than a thousand. Wow. Okay. You gotta wonder if there's a cheaper option out there. Here's a guy who once offered an option. Thousand bucks for a pair of glasses? That's crazy. Five hundred dollars for a pair of glasses? That's ludicrous. Bruce Burgess is a former optician from Hamilton and a former jailbird. He spent a year behind bars for refusing to play by the rules when it comes to selling glasses in Ontario. To some, Burgess is a folk hero challenging the eyeglass industry. To others, he's an anti-hero who was out to make a buck. I never intended to get into a dispute. Here's where his chain and his troubles began. It had a database of about 15,000 customers when it shut down. The chain was called Great Glasses. It offered free sight tests and cheap eye glasses. But that business model violates the practices of the College of Optometrists of Ontario. Those rules say glasses can be prescribed only by doctors. Burgess was doing simple sight tests in his store. His machine spit out numbers he'd used to make someone a new pair of glasses. All people wanted to do was improve the strength of their eyeglasses, most often for fashion purposes. All right. So the machine I never felt was prescribing. The College of Optometrists sure did and took Burgess to court. He was fined millions, but continued to defy the rules even when ordered to stop. The battle went all the way to the Supreme Court of Canada. Burgess lost everything, his house, his business, and his freedom. He still owes more than $17 million, the biggest contempt fine in Canadian history. And they say they're protecting the public, but really at the end of the day, they're protecting their self-interests. You calling it protectionism? Oh, absolutely, okay, absolutely. Burgess says it's the established players in both retail and regulation that are keeping the cost of glasses high. In a pair of glasses, you have one, two, three, four screws two pairs of lenses made out of plastic, okay? Either metal frames or plastic frames. It seems to me incredibly odd that that has to sell for four, five, or six hundred dollars. So we ask this industry insider about what glasses really cost, and he shares some stunning information 
on the most expensive part, the lenses. Lenses can be divided into two categories. In the industry, we talk about a lens that's a stock lens. Those stock lenses are very, very inexpensive to use. How much? Between two and ten dollars a really? pair. Those lenses, the kind most of us need, are cheap, says Burgess, because they're mass-produced. Even putting them into the frames is pretty much automatic. And lenses that need more work, he says, still aren't that expensive to make. You might find them at uh, anywhere from $25 to $50. That's at the independent level. When you're dealing with a multinational company that's selling glasses out of a mall, that product cost drops to fractions of that. There are lenses that could be $200. The actual real cost on that's about $2. Yep, that's what he says, $2. We're back in the mall, shopping at LensCrafters. I need to get a new pair of glasses. This is my prescription. Bruce Burgess's words are ringing in our ears. We're probably looking at high-index lenses. The this is a pretty strong prescription. Hmm, so what does that do to the price? That's not so clear. And that's because when you walk into any optical store these days, Everyone has a sale going on, but it can get confusing, so everyone has a calculator going too. So what yours was, uh, 389, let's say whatever frame you chose, like 350 minus the 40%, plus the coding, so it would be 543. It's hard to figure out what is a good deal, especially when we're told the average price. An average pair will cost you about 350 straight up, 350 is an average pair. That's the average? Well, watch what happens when Megan finally buys these mid-range glasses at LensCrafters, Canada's largest retailer. So it is 30% off the complete pair, which okay. means you get 30% off this price and the lens price. Okay, so with the first one, it's B. There's that calculator again. After much tapping... 1.67 high index, it'll be 443.39. Okay, sorry, 443.39. Okay. And remember, that's on sale. Maybe another chain store will be cheaper. Think again. Competition seems to be an optical illusion. Just take a look around your local mall. LensCrafters is owned by a multinational called Luxottica. It also owns Pearl Vision and Sears Optical, even Sunglass Hut. And guess what? Almost all of the designer brands inside those stores owned by Luxottica are made by, yep, Luxottica. It's a long list. No wonder the corporation's yearly sales are in the billions. So where can you look for cheaper glasses? Well, we check out smaller chains at Hakeem Optical. How do you tell how much the frames are? Prices still in the hundreds. Big box stores such as Walmart, a limited selection. After the break, we test the online option. 72% off the suggested retail plan. And we visit a province where the rules that handcuffed Bruce Burgess are off the books. Here we go. We're focusing in on eyeglasses. Millions of us need them, but are we paying too much? Our staffer, Megan, has bought a pair for close to $450 at LensCrafters. Now, we're shopping via the web and wind up at Canada's biggest online optical store. So this is the site. It's called Clearly Contacts. You may have seen their commercials starring former hockey player Trevor Linden. Clearly Contacts has the same designer frames you'll find anywhere else. They include the lenses and all the coatings free of charge. And they start from just $38. These guys have been selling contacts online for 10 years, but eyeglasses are different. How will they fit and feel? And how will they look on Megan's face? That's what we're about to test. You can upload a picture and actually go through their entire inventory. Meg eventually settles on a pair of mid-range house brand glasses. Those are, again, 68 bucks, 72% off the suggested retail plan. She inputs her prescription, but it's a snag. Clearly, Contacts wants something called her pupillary distance, or PD. So and what, how do you do that? PD is the distance between your pupils. It helps ensure your eyes and your lenses are properly aligned. But we're warned. It's not a do-it-yourself exercise. You put it in wrong, you'll get the wrong set of glasses. When Megan bought at LensCrafters, they used this special device to figure out her pupillary distance. 
but stores don't give your PD in case you use it to buy elsewhere, like online. You're not allowed to give it to you. Meg's prescription doesn't give the PD either. It's an easy measurement for optometrists to take and give out, but they don't. You have to hold the paper up in front of your face. Clearly, Contact says we'll have to measure the PD ourselves. No fancy device here, though. Just a paper ruler they tell us to print out. Where do I line up? Oh, I see. Okay, I'm line up the line with the pupil. So will our online glasses fit okay? We'll know in just a few days, according to the Clearly Contact's website. Total price? Not the 38 bucks we hear in that commercial. Instead, almost $200. Still, it's more than twice that at LensCrafters and twice as long for delivery. Either way, they do take about a week to two weeks. Okay. We'll show you how else the two pairs measure up later on. Meantime, our path points us toward British Columbia. Welcome to Vancouver's International Airport. Where it's practically the Wild West when it comes to getting glasses. BC is revolutionizing the way people buy glasses, both online and in stores like this. It's the only province to relax its rules on how eyewear can be dispensed. Optician Chris Lee doesn't look like a revolutionary, but he's now allowed to sell glasses after doing a simple sight test, like this one on me. For my chin rest. Mm -hmm. Here we go, just steady. Uh... Remember, tests like these got Bruce Burgess in trouble back in Ontario. Can you read the line for me? O H A. And we can tell the customer likes it because we don't have to send them away somewhere else and, and I'm having to come back. So at least saving them at least one or two trips. This one. Oh, I love them. <laughs> it also saves customers money. A standalone sight test costs about $40. A full exam at the eye doctor costs twice as much, though it checks for eye disease. So, are the savings in BC compromising safety? It's a little fuzzy. In Ontario, the College of Optometrists says yes. It calls the BC sight tests a serious risk. To say that you need an eye examination before you can get glasses really is true. College boss Dr. Paula Garshowitz says a simple sight test can't replace a full eye exam. A patient will come in and say, you know, I'm not seeing quite as well with my glasses. I think I just need a change in my prescription. And through the course of the exam, the optometrist may arrive at information that actually there is undetected eye disease that made the patient's vision blurry, not, not a change in their prescription. BC prescription, as you can see that I got, it says this sight test is not a substitute for a regular eye health examination. No one in BC is telling people not to get an eye exam. I can only explain to you what the Ontario government's position is, and that is, is that a standalone refraction, there's a risk of harm to the public in that. But Bruce Burgess says Ontario optometrists are overstating the harm. What's good for BC, he says, is good for the rest of us. Well, we're all Canadians. It should be one playing field uh, across the country, and it's not. There's another thing the BC regulations have that the rest of us don't. You get your pupillary distance. It's now included in every prescription. You can take your PD and order online. Why not everywhere else? These are two prescriptions. This is one from Ontario, obviously no PD. And this is from BC, one that mm -hmm. I got, which has the PD on it. People are going to wonder why. PD is not a required part of the prescription in, uh, in Ontario. If the concern is eye health and uh, risk of harm, and if PD is you know, a factor in that, why not make it available to people? It, as I say, it is not part of the required clinical information for the provision of a prescription. Why not? Why not make it so? Is it the fear that people might use it to buy online? I'm letting you know what the, what the regulations require our members to do. Are you protecting public interest, though, or your own economic interest? Absolutely. The public interest is paramount. Meantime, the pair we bought online from Clearly Contacts is being delivered. First impressions? Ta-da! Ta-da! They're kind of crooked. You can see the frame over your eye. It is distracting because I can tell that they're crooked. Megan picks up the phone and calls the Clearly Contacts helpline. But it's not so helpful. They sit crooked on my face, so I'm not sure what to do next. They're telling me it's, it's crooked to your, when you wear it, it's crooked. It's not balanced or it's not uh, sit your face well. Yeah. So it's some issues in the face. Issues with her face? We take issue with that. And get this, 
he suggests we take her new glasses to an optical store for adjustment. We take our questions to the source, back in BC. We're inside the Vancouver headquarters of Clearly Contacts with a guy who started it all, Roger Hardy. The average optical shop is selling three to five pairs of glasses and contacts per day, um, and we're doing somewhere between five and 7,000 orders per day. Hardy says it's all about cutting out the middleman, and he confirms what we've heard about actual costs. The cost of frames uh, can be anywhere from 10, 15, 20 dollars, lenses can be less. His average price is just $50 a pair, a lot less than Megan paid. It depends what people add on to their glasses when they buy them. So that pair of glasses that your partner bought would be, if they were about $200, at traditional retail, that would be $400 to $600. That said, we tell him Megan's glasses aren't fitting right and their helpline wasn't sounding right. It was a challenging conversation. Is it the person on the other end of the phone didn't understand the problem, the way she described it? I wouldn't say every call is perfect, but we're certainly working on uh, doing a better job. Hardy says you can pack them up and send them back, or they'll help pay part of the cost for any adjustments at an optical store. Seems the online people see value in the in-store experience after all. And we're testing that ourselves at LensCrafters. A week after they're ordered, our $450 glasses are ready. I'm here to pick up my glasses. Turns out they don't fit properly either. After more than a few adjustments. I think they're straighter now. Everything seems to be in order. Or is it? We're about to find out. At the University of Waterloo, we're taking our two pairs of glasses for an exam, and we have Professor Ralph Chu to conduct the exam. Professor Chu is an optometrist who's agreed to check our specs for quality, accuracy of prescription, and basically, if one's any better than the other. The important thing here is checking the fit on the glasses. But first, he eyeballs them to see how they fit Megan's face. So actually, you know, you chose a nice frame. We haven't told the professor, but we can tell you pair number one is from Clearly Contacts. They're actually a little bit crooked. After a bit of heating and bending... I think that's about the right fit for you there. How does that feel? Feels good. Professor Chu says it's pretty normal for a new pair of glasses to need adjustments. Up next... Let's take a look at pair number two. Number two. I'll trade you. That's a good frame. This is the pair we bought at LensCrafters. Okay, I can tell right away. As soon as I put it on, it slipped down. So Even this one, yeah, yeah, this one really needs some adjustment. Professor Chu tells us the pair that's already been adjusted twice, though he doesn't know that yet, doesn't fit as well as the first pair. Even more adjustments are made. And then finally, a good fit. You're well adjusted. <laughs> Over the next hour, Professor Chu puts our glasses through a battery of tests using a lensometer. Just take a look at the powers of the lenses. And something called a raunchy grating tester. It checks for inconsistencies in the lens material. When all is said and done... Overall, I don't see any real difference between them in terms of overall quality. Professor Chu thinks both glasses are just fine. So we let him in on where we bought them. Uh, number one was ordered from a company called Clearly Contacts Online. Mm -hmm. Pair two was uh, bought at LensCrafters. You know, if uh, clearly contacts can do the job equally well as with uh, the pair from LensCrafters, fine. As long as the quality is there, you know, you shouldn't have any reason to be concerned. After the break, we take our findings to LensCrafters. You haven't answered the question, why are they so expensive? And now that he's a free man, guess where Bruce Burgess is heading? What are you doing with boxes of glasses in your house? What's the plan for all this? We're framing your options when it comes to eyewear. Comparing Canada's biggest online retailer to the country's biggest chain of optical stores. It's been a real eye-opener, but you ain't seen nothing yet. How Thanks are you? Thanks for doing this. No problem. Dominic Guglielmi is Vice President of Operations for LensCrafters. We get right down to business, pressing him about his prices. They're just plastic and screws. Why do they cost so much? We can correlate it to the fashion and clothing. I mean, you can buy a suit for $50, you can buy a suit for $1,000. You haven't answered the question. Why are they so expensive? And these are designer brands. Uh, these brands have cachet. I mean, Chanel has a pricing position in the market, and they have that same pricing position whether it's eyeglasses, purses, shoes, etc. In other words, you're paying for the brand names made by the same company that owns LensCrafters. Your parent company, Luxottica, owns um, the stores in this mall that we're in right now. All these 
brand names you talked about uh, mm -hmm. here around us in the store are all made by Luxottica. You all work for the same people. It's not uncommon in, in retail for many retailers to have multiple brands that serve different market demographics. We decide to bounce a few numbers off Mr. Guglielmi. An industry insider we've talked to says that you know quality lenses essentially are available for as little as ten dollars. I can't speak for the industry insider. What I do know is that you know consumers have a choice. We you know have a 30-year history uh, of providing great quality eye health and eye care. So we tell him that our test finds lens crafters service somewhat lacking. When our, our staffer picked up her glasses, she had them adjusted not once but twice. Mm -hmm. Then when we brought them to the expert who we showed them to, he acted as if they hadn't been adjusted at all. Adjustments are common. Having the need to have your glasses adjusted sometimes more than once is not an uncommon thing. It seems like no matter where you buy your glasses, in a store or online, you'll likely end up back at the mall in search of service. The only variable, perhaps, is how much money you'll have left in your pocket. As for former optician and jailbird Bruce Burgess, our ending is his new beginning. What are you doing with boxes of glasses in your house? What's the plan for all this? Uh, by April, I'll be in uh, British Columbia. I'm gonna be setting up a new store in British Columbia. Without the troubles he had here, the family will head west right after Joanne Burgess's house arrest ends. She wears an electronic ankle bracelet because as a director in the Great Glasses venture, she was guilty of helping her husband. We'd like to stay in Ontario, but uh, circumstances dictate the uh, political climate is better in, Ontario, in British Columbia, so that's where we're going to go. Where he says if you need a pair of glasses, the rules aren't so short-sighted.